Yeah, and don't repeat that to your mother. Kids. What's up, guys? Home to the vlog. Um, Doritos sent over some Doritos for me. And they also sent over something pretty incredible. Another bag of Doritos. But in this bag, this is an official replica Spider-Man suit, and Doritos has sent it over to me. Do you think it'll give me any powers? I think it'll give me some powers. I got super spidey speed. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Just cut it together and post. Oh no, here's my nemesis, angry 22-year-old. Oh, look at this, guys. Right now, I'm climbing a wall. <laughs> They don't pull out. Guys, if you want to win one of these suits, tweet at Doritos with the hashtag incognito Doritos and hashtag entry by June 30th and you can win one of these suits and I highly suggest you send out a tweet because this thing is sick. Well listen guys, that's the suit. I'm out of breath. Hopefully you'll be in better shape when you win your suit. Thank you Doritos for sponsoring this video. Enjoy today's vlog. Ow! What was that? <laughs> Told me to wait till you had the suit on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. He's lost his mind. This dog. Like, I literally could have killed this dog. It's like Joe's dog. Holy sh! That dog would be an Instagram star. <laughs> Do you want him? <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's that little girl's dog. Oh no, it's his dog. Damn. It's not his dog. Look how look how he's looking at it. He's never seen it before. Do I go it's, for... it's not his dog. He don't have a collar. Is that your dog? No. Hey dog. Come hey. here. Take it. Take it with you. Take it. Okay. Natalie, you got a dog. Oh my god, this is the best thing. No, he, li he lives inside that. He probably no. lives right here. Yeah, he That's probably. such a cute dog. You see him? No, I mean, he's tough to say. Sure. Jay, where is he? He's right there. He's right there. Oh, grab him. Show him. Show him to the vlog. He's gonna get killed if we leave him out here. Come here. Oh my hey. god. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Guys, he literally found a dog. Hey. How are you? Who's hey. a good boy? Hey, you're good. You're good. It's okay. Congrats, okay. Natalie. You got a dog. Oh my god, we just found a dog. How are you, little guy? Good boy. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe we just found a dog. <laughs> what, should, what should we call him? We he should you, Natalie. We should keep him. Look, oh, oh he's going to kiss you. Oh, he likes Natalie. Wait, Natalie you think he's a stray? <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure he's a stray. Yeah, dude, collar. people just throw these things away out yeah. here. Natalie, what should we do with him? He loves you, yeah, Natalie. Do you like him, Natalie? I don't know. Or is he too old? <laughs> There, there was a guy that was walking by and we're like, is that your dog? He goes, no, take him. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do now? I he, guess we gotta keep He does him. love Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, he's great. These dogs love people. They're so much better because they're rescued. He doesn't want to leave him. A good boy. You don't want to go nowhere. He doesn't want to leave. Hi. Oh my God, guys, another dog. What the f is going on? Oh, oh he's your dog? No way. Yeah. Cookie! Yeah, oh, they're both them. The, uh, the real owner came back. <laughs> Natalie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Natalie. <laughs> White people, they just assume that the <laughs> That dog's stray, we've got to save him. <laughs> okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to our, my in-bed talk show, Just Us Girls. Is this new? Yeah, I just thought of it. Uh, you know how I thought of it? How? I saw you guys in my room, and then I saw the bed. <laughs> And then I said, those are Natalie's. <laughs> no, they're mine. I lost those hey. the other night. She's like, uh, do you have my sunglasses? <laughs> and I go, yeah, they're like, I'm like, I was really drunk. I'm like, I think they're like $5 glasses. She's like, no, they're like really expensive. Uh, so yeah. I was like, oh, I, but luckily I found them. Jason, do you have my sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> I love your impressions. Um, <laughs> she does kind of have like a whispery voice. Would uh, you be Jason. down for um, David to bury you in the yard? <laughs> uh, Jason, David's calling you. He needs to tape these to the wall. What they do, they do this little thing. They're, anytime they'll call you, um, he'll, if he wants everyone to go to Chicago, and then he'll, he'll send out the group text, and then he'll go, respond to the group text right now, and like, make it like a big deal that you want to go to Chicago. Just, he does that to me too. And I'm like, I don't want to go to Chicago. He's like, just do it. <laughs> Dude, say something like you're going to go, because then Todd will go. <laughs> If you don't say anything, Todd's not gonna wanna go. <laughs> it's, 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 it's endearing. It's all in the name of having fun. I have my chin strap here today. Chin strap. Speaking of being in bed. Chin strap, Bill. This is my chin strap that I wear at night. Is it is that for your jaw to get a sharper jaw? No, it's so I don't choke on my tongue. <laughs> Does that is that uncomfortable? Is that... We're getting really sexy here. <laughs> is it uncomfortable? Yeah, it's really uncomfortable actually. So like is, hey. is it hard to fall asleep? No. Because you're usually so exhausted. It's it's it looks like a jock strap too. Like it looks like it's supposed to hold your balls up. But it's your oh chin. wait, this is the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> Scott, how's your podcast? Todd, how's your... Todd, are you out of the podcast? Yeah, I quit. How no. did you tell the guys that you were done with the podcast? I told them I'm done. I don't feel like doing it. Tell them in person or did you just send a text? Uh, I think both. It was multiple different ways. It was multiple different ways. And it was over like a couple said, weeks. Just to make sure. After yeah. he told you in person, he texted you. And I'm f***ing <laughs> serious. <laughs> Remember what I said earlier about how I didn't want to do the podcast? I meant it. Um, yeah, I just uh, for me, it just... <laughs> <laughs> it just took away like, like I wasn't so brand new to it. Okay, Todd, you don't want to do it. You know, so like you know, like my creative, I wanted to concentrate and put my creative ability somewhere. They have a podcast like, called Scott Cast. Now it's called Nothing Matters, but it's very. We're good. actually changing the name again, so now oh. it's going to be called Does Doesn't Matters. Doesn't Doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, well, I think I feel like I started the Nothing Matters trend. No, I don't know. We all just said kind of. Stuff doesn't matter, but yeah, you might have been the first person to say nothing matters. Yeah, because Jeff got all pissed off and I was out. Oh, <laughs> and this is a body pillow. Oh, wow. This is what I sleep with. You cuddle it up? Yeah. Well, I was using that. To... Okay, come back, come back. Come back. <laughs> Forget the body pillow. I gotta, Jason, you have the coolest room. You have two big closets, a big, a big slider, a nice bed, a nice big TV. And it's so expensive, I'm never here because I have to pay. Yeah, for Todd, it. Todd wants me and Kristen to move in and pay. Some money. It would be for this room? For this room. We get someone else in here, it would be less than that. Another person in this room with me and Kristen? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Sheffer. <laughs> just me, my girlfriend, and Mike, Mike Sheffer. Sheffer. <laughs> it's just like, we right now we have our own house that is cheaper than Which, in one room. Obviously Which, it's a different location, different I would location. love to be with everyone. Different location, like different house, different backyard, different roommates. Roommate. Mm. Different roommates. You have no roommates now, so you'd have a roommate. Yeah. <laughs> different if, but so, so you're moving out, Jason, and getting somewhere else so. separate. You think I might get a I might get an apartment? Yeah. I was telling Todd that we should like rent the backyard out, and, like on pier space and stuff, and he just he just says yes, but then it goes one ear and not the other. No, 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 no. I'm no. saying it like I'm hoping that he'll kick the ball started with it. Uh -huh. No, I said yesterday. That's I weird said to rent out your backyard though. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it is. Though. No. I mean, oh, you mean like for like photo shoots? Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. We have two months left here. What the f***? What do you think we should do? I don't know. I'm like literally in the same boat of like, what am I going to do? Because my lease is almost up as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know what to do. Like I want, it, it's so difficult because I want to be closer, but it's more expensive here. Kristen wants to not spend more money. I don't want to spend more money. No, I know. And I want a better house than I'm in, like something with more lighting, but like I, I can't spend more money, so it's... Well, that's not this house. This light sucks here. Well, we can fix we can always fix the light. One thing I wanted to know was, you guys are out on tour this year, living the rock star life. Yeah, we're going on tour again. They're going on tour again in October. Tickets available cities. on ScottySire.com. ScottySire.com. 30 cities. Is it 30? Oh, you're doing 30? 30 shows. Todd and I are going to be on a bus together for 43 days. That's a lot. No girls, no <laughs> no girlfriends, just Todd and I and the rest of the band, oh. just a bunch of dudes, and then, farting on a bus. Playing back in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's so. That's what I was going to ask. Man, we're not going to see our friends for like 40 days. No, your friends will come. You don't think our yeah. friends are going to come to our show? Jason's going to come to a show. I'll definitely shows. come out. I mean, if you, once I get the dates, I'll book, um, book stand-up dates in those cities. Like, you oh, the, dates? the night before. I haven't seen them. That'd, that'd be sick. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm going to do for five shows. But I even I just did like five shows of stand up. It took so much out of me. Do you enjoy it though? I love it. I love to go up on stage, but flying to Chicago, getting in the hotel. One night I did San Francisco and Chicago in, in back to back Saturday Sunday. I mean, I was wrecked. But the thing about like doing something live is you feel so much better about it than like you know you, you put together a YouTube video and you put it out mm -hmm. and like people see it and it's it, you know you get comments and stuff. But when you, we go up and do like live. That you actually put effort into, you put effort into your like comedy routine or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then people react to it, and you get to like feel the energy in person. It's so much, it's so much cooler. It's rewarding. It is cool. It's so, like cathartic. What was your best show you guys played? They were all really good. Uh, but I, my favorite one was probably the last one because then it was over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The one in L.A. The one in L.A. was, was great. Yeah, that one was really good. Oh, um, I really like Boston and Toronto. Boston was cool. Toronto was great. The Texas ones were good. They're all good. They were all good. <laughs> yeah, Should I go to Toronto? Toronto's fun. Yeah, you should. Cool. Yeah, you You're should. supposed to go to England in February. That'd be dope. Four shows there. Yeah. But I don't know. It takes so much away from YouTube, too. But it's like, if you think about it, it's like all like content. You can film all that. And so, you guys, how's the friendship? This is the last question I'll ask. 
Well, we're trying to rekindle it. That's why we do this tour. <laughs> yeah. The friendship's like, it's That's not a way to rekindle a friendship. It is. At 40 30 cities, cities in 43 nights. That's a way to end a friendship. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you know, you're with a girl, you, you want to figure out your relationship, you have a baby to fix it. You know, this is our baby. Yeah. God. Also, like, it, Todd needed some space, so I don't hang out with him quite as much. And now we're going to get back into it, and we're going to go full force every single day together, no time apart. And that's how we're going to really, like... Stick together. It's nice. All right. Well, these guys are great. I miss you. I miss seeing you guys. I miss seeing. You I love the Todd guys. and Scott. I ship it. I can't believe I just said that. I love Todd and Scott together. It makes me happy. Scotty. When they used to shake their protein drinks together after they come home, all sweaty. Dude, I miss that, bro. Yeah. Well, moving with Todd. You drinking yeah. coffee while we're shaking protein yeah. cups. You want to get a five bedroom? Can we just all live together again? Dude, I want to get a house with a guest house. That way, Chris and I still have our own space. But I'm here with everybody. You should just get the house next door. Dude, a next door house? You guys stay in this house? There's a house I'm right there. next door? There's a house for sale. Or There's right a house for sale and a rental. Yeah. Look, I don't have $3 million. <laughs> uh, that one's not $3 million. And then what is this I heard that Todd's making more money than you on the tour? That was nice of you. It's considered you're the front man and you roll all the songs. All right, here's how the tour works. I'm independent. The tour costs a ton of money because there's a whole band. There's 10 people on a bus. The bus itself costs like $2,000 a day. To oh, right. It's like a big, like, nice tour bus. Yeah, what like it has to be huge. So you have to pay what? the bus driver guy. You gotta give him a per diem so he can eat. Yeah. Oh, didn't give him a per diem. <laughs> well, got and per diem. Do you poop on the bus? Yeah, you can. You're not supposed to. We're not supposed to do that. That's like, you know, you don't want to, but yeah. like, we're gonna be on the bus like, for like a day at a time sometimes. I'll drive down. Oh, no. <laughs> you seem not excited. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm so excited to be holding in my bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be smelly as bust. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a, it's really expensive. I get the like money that comes for the tour, but then I have to pay for everything. But I already like like including people. So depending on if it sells out or not, hopefully it sells out. It'll sell out. Um, hopefully. Go what buy Scott's it? tickets and Todd's tickets. What are the room sizes? They're like a thousand to fourteen hundred. Oh my god! Per room. This oh, you're playing thousand seaters this time. Yeah. Oh. I'm scared. scared. I'm You'll scared. You'll make your money back. That's how you're gonna make your money back. If they sell out. If it doesn't sell out, then it'll sell out. I just want to see people. You know, I just love seeing you guys, hugging you guys. I hate hugs. Don't hug me. I love meeting and greets. <laughs> <laughs> do you do meet and greets? Yeah. You do. Yeah. Meet greets. Yeah, you have to. We got Todd it. almost. He wasn't in the meet and greet this time, but he was like, bro, I'm gonna hang out with you. I wanna be there for the meet and greets. I love meeting people. So now he's gonna be there too. I have a video that I'm doing soon yeah. where I go and live with Jonah for a day. Oh, you're doing and that? I live with the Antonians for 24 hours. So That's if you right. Want, if you wanna drop by. Who's gonna film? Uh, Joe's gonna film it. <laughs> what day? It's Monday. Next uh, Monday? Not this week, but next week, I think. That's, that's great. That's the week why it's a camp. So it'll be free. Oh, what kind of camp? Oh, we'll, de we'll definitely come over. Jazz camp? Stuff I for a little bit. He's going to a DJ camp. He's going to learn to be a DJ. No. Yeah. Don't fancy? Actually, yeah. a DJ camp? Yeah. Wow. Or producing camp. Well, it's like, it's not me. It's not me. It's a camp that has, offers like a million different kinds of stuff. And so Rockstar was full. So the next best thing was um, be a DJ. Hell yeah. So they're going to like produce music all week and then do a little performance. That's cool. Like, I can see in Todd's eyes, Todd's like, sounds like something I'd like to do. <laughs> Me and Wally bounce around. <laughs> Drop the bass low. Yeah. Boom, boom. Dude, I want to learn how to produce more too. Like, that would be awesome to go to a camp. Yeah. yeah that would All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, go check out these guys' channel. Go check out their tour. Coming to a city near you. Uh, is that nice, David? I tell. Oh my God, it's so, it's nice. so nice. Isn't it nice, David? Is that a town? It's so nice. It's like it's like regular life. Yeah. It's regular life. <laughs> so nice, David's out of town. I see him so much. I'm always, yeah. I'm always, I I'm trying to figure out how to get it to the camera, but I hey, can't. I don't know who this Wittick guy is, but <laughs> I'm back, baby. I don't know, bro. I'm back. You know what's funny about Jeff is he's like he jokes around about almost anything. He's got a really great sense of humor. You can see I was saying, but that he'll bring that up. Todd, with his shirt off in your vlog, and he won't miss it either. Yeah. He's talking about, he will see it. Yeah, yeah. He's, talking, he's talking about, what do you mean, Jeff? Jeff hey. Wittick, look hey. at me. Hey. Look at me, Jeff. Mm. Your face is, is swelling up a little bit. Drink some more water, huh? You've been, you've been drinking alcohol before, Ben? <laughs>
Hey, lay off the Swedish fish. It's so crazy out there we couldn't even get through. That's how nuts people are for Spider-Man. Ooh, jeans. Guys, we, we had to we had to pull off in a Zara. That's how nuts it is outside right now. It smells exactly like a locker room at school, but twice as well. It smells like a locker room at the pool? At school. So oh, at school. But twice as well. All right, we're, we're holed up in Zara. I don't know if we're ever gonna get out. Let's try some clothes on? He's right here. Thanks. Oh, you're doing a selfie style? Yeah. Yeah, look to. at that. Guys, we're here with the Impractical Jokers. <laughs> Huge fans. I'm not going to take too much of their time. How did the show start? Uh, with the opening credits. Next. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? That was the first time I ever gave that answer. <laughs>